Hello and welcome to Retro Asylum's very first feature. My name is Dean Swain and today we're going to be looking at the Vetrex. This is an ordinary TV video game. This is Vetrex, the only video game system with its own video screen. Take it anywhere, just plug it in. It's your own personal arcade. A high performance system with a built-in game plus a whole collection of arcade cartridges like Scramble, Hole Position, Berserk. So if you're into video games, forget the TV. Get into Vectrex. Light pen and 3D imager available. Video game advertising. Bad back in the old days and even worse today. At least we got to see some in-game footage. Okay, so what can I tell you about this wonderful, sleek, sexy machine? Well, it was co-developed by Western Technologies and Smith Engineering. It was then produced back in 1982 by a company called GCE, who brought it to the American market. Sales were good in the first year, which brought the attention of Milton Bradley. They liked the machine so much, and the money it was making, that they bought out GCE and brought the machine to Europe at the same time, whilst rebranding it, hence this one being an MB Vetrex. This is the system chosen 2 to 1 over Atari and Intellivision for real arcade gameplay. Fantastic! Presenting the revolutionary Vectrex arcade system. Ordinary home video games can't match the laser-sharp visual effects of Vectrex because only Vectrex has a real arcade screen built in. No TV set needed, so every Vectrex cartridge gives you real arcade gameplay that others can't. Vectrex, it stands alone. Of course, what the advertisements failed to mention was that the Vectrex could only produce black and white graphics. So each game came with its own colour overlay. The monitor itself was totally black and white. So when it comes to buying games, it's something to bear in mind. If you want the full Vectrex experience, really you do need the colour overlays. Unless you're happy playing in black and white, of course. The other thing worth mentioning, let's just switch the system off, is the joypad. It uses an analog stick which should be self-centering. Fortunately this one is. But many that appear on eBay won't be because they simply break very easily. So it's probably worth trying to get some footage to show proof of the joypad working properly before you put in a bid. So would I recommend the system? Hell yeah. There's nothing quite like it. It cannot be emulated properly, um, simply because of PC monitors, they can't produce vector graphics in the way that this monitor can. They'll only look pixelated, basically like any wireframe graphic on a PC would. Um, this moves at an exceptional rate, everything is very, very smooth. The games, although there was only probably about 28 to 30 games ever officially produced for the system, most of them are all great titles. There's still a lot of homebrew games being produced for the system, and I love it. It's a great, great system, so if you've got any doubts, please, please try and play one of these, and hopefully you'll be picking one up soon, because... This is definitely a system worth having.